Hey y'all, I'm back with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be doing a full set so you'll get to see it from start to finish and the design that I'm going to be doing, of course I'm going to be doing an acrylic design but I'm also going to be adding a little art on top. Here lately I, I think I've been doing a lot of the sets like that where the design comes at the end and it's on top and most of the times I feel like those are the easier designs because you know you just lay the foundation and then towards the end you just add a little bit of accent and you're done so for this particular design I'm going to be doing a certain technique um, I know you guys have seen the tortoise shell nails and it's pretty much the same techniques you would use to achieve that look so that's the design that I'm going to be doing today So like always, I'm starting off with my natural nail prep. I push back her eponychium. I'm using my cuticle bit now to come in and just remove or detach that dead skin away from the nail plate. Once I do that, I'm gonna come in with my sanding band and just buff over the surface of the nails. You don't wanna dig into the natural nails. You just wanna make sure that you remove all of the shine and that you take away any of that dead cuticle that's left. So of course right now it is winter time and I'm here in Texas y'all and it is super cold down here. So you know what that means when it's cold weather like this. It just wears and tears on the skin. And especially now you know we're still in this pandemic so everyone is washing their hands excessively and that doesn't help you know when you're trying to have these cute nails and your skin is dry, your cuticles are dry. Uh-uh, you need to really promote, as a nail tech right now, cuticle oil. You need to push it on your clients. I tell mine all the time, listen, get you some cuticle oil. I even sell individual cuticle oils. And I tell them, get you some cuticle oil, put it on them nails, and honey, it will bring them back to life real quick, okay? It'll put nourishment into the dry, cracked, dead skin. <laughs> that creeps around your nails after two or three weeks and it'll just help your skin. So with that being said here lately, not just this particular client, but everyone who has recently been coming to me, I have, I've been having to do a lot of cuticle work or natural nail prep on everyone. And you know, I don't mind it at all, but you can just tell, you know, around the seasons when you have to adjust your routine. So I'm coming in now with my cuticle nippers and I'm telling y'all right now, I hate <laughs> using nippers. Uh, uh I have cut someone before and I have been scarred ever since. I would normally use my ball bit just on everyone and anyone I can. But when it's excessive like this, I have no choice but to come in and use these nippers. So I just be very, very careful and I only take off what's hanging. Even if it's a little bit left, I, I might go in afterwards and still use my bit. But I try to be very minimal when I use this because uh, -uh I ain't trying to <laughs> cut nobody no more you know I that traumatized me now what I won't do is just leave this dead skin either I'm going to use my bit and buff it off or I'm going to come in with my nippers but I will not just leave it if you leave this dead skin and you come in and you apply your acrylic well your acrylic is going to adhere to the dead skin and not the nail plate so when you're wearing your nails as that dead skin lifts off of the nail plate it's going to lift the acrylic off too so you need to make sure that you do not leave any dead skin on the nail plate so now i'm going to come in and i'm going to cut her tips to her desired length and then i'll go in and i'll shape them and here lately everyone has been kind of digging the the tapered square and some people like it more tapered in and then some people like it more wide so it's all up to the discretion of the client so I'm just gonna you know get these cut and then shape them into the desired shape that she wants 
So after I get those nails filed into shape, I'm going to come in with my sanding bin and I'm just going to blend those tips. You never want to skip this step. Always, always blend your tips. So the colors that I'm going to be using today in this set are all from Glam and Glitz. The first one is called Nutty Nude and it's just a nude brown. And then this next one is my maroon and it's called Smoldering Plum. Very, very pretty. So I'm coming in with this first color, the Nutty Nude. And as you can see, like I said, it is super cold. <laughs> so when it's cold, what happens to your acrylic? It goes to acting funny. So as you can see, when I first applied that bead, it was all clumpy and bumpy, but I didn't panic. I set it there, kind of let it self level. And now I'm coming in with my brush and I'm patting it into place. So when you have certain colors like this, and a lot of Glam and Glitz is like this too. Either they, they marble or they're like this. Like they have so many colors and all of them are so beautiful, but you have to know how to work each one because they're not all smooth. And I mean, and with me, that's okay. I'm okay with it because I know how to work the acrylic. So back to this nude color, I finally got it to where it's self leveled. I patted it through the tip and now I'm just smoothing it. I'm working the sides and I'm making sure that I have um, that, that color blended in. Once I have that done, I'm gonna come in and just add my cuticle bead. Now for my ring finger, this one is going to be all white. This is where I'm going to put my design. And like I said, this is kind of the tortoise technique. So it's basically just spots. And I feel like it's a mixture of cow print and tortoise because I'm using the tortoise technique, but then it's just spots, but it gives off the, the tortoise look. I don't know. It's a mix of both, <laughs> nonetheless. So this one is going to be all white. So I do pretty much do all of my beads the same way. I do a two bead method. So I apply the tip first and then I apply the cuticle bead. And I always cap my colors. I just feel more comfortable capping because I, I, I just trust it you know what I'm saying like I know people come in and they just do you know the one color but I'm like thinking to myself no when I foul that I'm gonna foul into that color so <laughs> I need me a clear so you can believe it that every set I do I cap with clear and I really don't show it but I'm, I'm letting y'all know I always cap with clear So when I'm working with dark colors, I always add a clear base first. You can get away with the nude colors, but when you're using dark colors, make sure that you use a clear base so you won't stain the natural nail. So I'm gonna use that smoldering plum and I'm gonna come in at the cuticle area and I'm gonna apply my bead and I'm gonna walk it halfway down the nail and then I'm gonna like basically move it in an angle so when it comes down to the tip I'm going to kind of swivel that color to the side because I'm also going to come in with the white and I'm not trying to make like a deep cut out of this I don't want it to be any sharp lines because at the end of my design I'm going to add foil so I don't need to try and do no extra steps and you know make sure that I'm cutting this perfect because that would just be a waste of time because I'm going to cover it up towards the end 
so I'm not making it perfect I'm just you know kind of taking my brush and swiveling it to the side now I did have a spot that was kind of sheer so that's why I'm coming in and adding just a little bit more of that color just a little bit as a, at a time because I don't want to make this bulky So now I'm coming in with my white and I did give a little time for that color to dry because when those dark colors are still wet, it'll just bleed right into that white. So I'm taking that white and I'm just pressing it into the tip and I'm making sure that the sides are clean and that I just have that tip smooth out. So now that the seasons are over, no one has really had like any idea about what they want when they come in. You know, when it's the seasons, it's Christmas, it's fall, it's Halloween, you, you know, okay, I'm going to get a Christmas set, I'm going to get a warm set, I'm going to get a Halloween set. But here between, you know, January and February, it's all up in the air. It's whatever you want. So I've been doing fall sets snake print neon sets all all kinds of different nails <laughs> nobody really knows what they want to get have y'all noticed that like right now during this time it's just a whole range of designs but i don't know i think my favorite type of season to do nails is it has to be christmas all time because y'all know I love the glitter I love the sparkle I love just the extra nest that everyone does around that time but you know to each its own I do extra all the time it ain't got to be no season for me okay <laughs> but for this particular client now this is my cousin y'all and she she never picks her nails now that I think about it every once in a while I'll ask her you know what she wants and I end up not liking it, so I change it. <laughs> I, I need to stop even asking her because she doesn't have a choice, honey. She gets what I want. And pretty much, I, I try to, to find like a set days before she comes in. So if I have a client like that where I know that I'm going to be choosing their nails, I will think of their design like way in advance so I can be ready. Because pretty much when it's people that I can do whatever it's like my friends or my family and I know I'm going to take forever on them so I like to have their design ready so I won't be bull corning and and just you know talking and not getting stuff done <laughs> so this set well this design I I seen I believe on Instagram and I love like just minimal designs like this you know what I'm saying where it's just not a lot to it but it's still just so so pretty so back to the nails though I'm sorry y'all I got off track this this one is just going to be the full color and I was kind of thinking to myself should I use a gel polish since this set is pretty basic but that middle finger deterred me from that because I was like uh -uh, I ain't gonna be doing all of that side swiping with no gel polish so that's why I went ahead and just used the acrylic but you can I bet do this design with gel polish so on the thumb I'm going to do just the full color of white because this one is also going to have a design on it and if you just happen to be watching my video for the first time, I'm glad you found it. I do informative nail videos. I am a licensed nail tech. And please make sure that you subscribe. And everyone, make sure you like this video and you leave me some comments. I love hearing from you guys. So once I have my application done, I'm going to come in and the first thing I'm going to do to start my finish filing is file the perimeter of the nails. Now I'm going for the tapered square, but I want it, want it to be more tapered 
than square. So I'm going in ju just a tad bit more than I normally would with a tapered square. Now for my finished filing, I tend to always switch it up because I have yet to find a fast way to file the nails. I am always stuck forever filing. Sometimes I can kind of lay my application pretty somewhat fast, but filing, forget about it. I'm, I'm always stuck at the same time, which is too long and forever. So I'm, I'm still switching it up and trying to find something that is going to be faster. I know they say it all comes with time, but I'm like, I need the time to be now <laughs> for me to be fast. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to file the perimeter first. And then I'll go in with my e-file and file the body. So once I have all the nails filed, she'll go and wash her hands. And then when she comes back to me, I will cleanse her hands with a alcohol pad. And then I can start my design. So the polishes I'm going to be using is this Blossom Gel. It, I got it from AliExpress. And then a black gel polish and then a brown gel polish. And those are the gels that I'm going to be using to achieve the spots. So I'm going to start with the brown and I'm just going to make random spots on the nail. I'm making sure that the spots that I'm doing though are not too elevated off the nails. I want them to be flat. So anytime you're working with polish, make sure that you don't do it too bumpy because then it just creates unevenness you know when you apply your top coat and you you want it all to be even and smooth so I'm gonna do that on all of the white parts of the nail I'm gonna apply that base first and then I'm going to stick these in the lamp for a full 60 seconds So once those have came out the lamp, now here's where I'm gonna use my Blossom Gel. Now I'm gonna do each nail at a time. I'm gonna add a thin layer of the Blossom Gel and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add black spots just over the brown. I'm not gonna cover it all up, but I'm just gonna basically kinda add it like on the, the side of it so some of that brown is still sticking out. Now you want to hurry up and cure this because that blossom gel will just continue to bloom and and you know spread that black out so you want to that's why I'm doing one at a time and when I go in and I apply this black like I said I'm just going over you know the brown spots and then I'm going to go in in kind of the center of the nail and sometimes add just a little bit you know kind of make just some random small dots so if you were doing the tortoise design the only step that you would make different is the base. So I'm using the white for the base, but instead, you know, that tortoise color is like a yellow, orangey, amber tint. So you could, you could either use like a gel, gel polish or use inks to create that base. And that's the only difference when doing the tortoise shell. So now that those nails have came out, I still have that tacky layer from the bloom gel. So I'm going to come in and just apply some foil. I didn't add any extra gel top coat. I'm using the stickiness. Now when I apply it on there, I'm kind of, you know, taking my brush and sticking that foil in because you don't want that sticking out. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a thin layer of base gel because I want to encapsulate that foil. I don't want it to be, you know, sticking out just applying a top coat. That's not going to cut it. So that's why I'm applying a thin layer of the base. So once I finished all of that, I went and did a final top coat and she was all done. Now, when I was choosing this design, it was between this one and a cow print. And when we got done, she was like, well, this is kind of cow print. So I don't know you guys, but we ended up loving it so this is just a easy peasy cute simple design so don't forget you guys if you haven't already subscribe like and comment and i will see you in another video